Using anecdotes to answer questions in English. Hello learners, welcome back to our English learning series. Today, we'll be delving into the fascinating world of anecdotes. Anecdotes are short, interesting stories about real events. They're a great tool for answering questions in English, making your responses more vivid, engaging, and memorable. So let's jump in and learn how to effectively use anecdotes in our English conversations. Anecdotes are brief narratives or stories about interesting, amusing, or surprising incidents or events. They're often based on personal experience, making them excellent for conveying authenticity and adding color to your conversation. Consider this scenario. If someone asks, how was your weekend? Instead of replying with a simple, it was good, you could use an anecdote. For example, oh, it was quite an adventure. I went hiking and just when I was enjoying the peacefulness, a cheeky squirrel ran off with my lunch. By using an anecdote, you've made your response more detailed, engaging, and provided a clearer image of your weekend to the person who asked the question. Crafting an effective anecdote involves several steps. 1. Identify the point. Your anecdote should be relevant to the question. It should help you express your answer more vividly. 2. Set the scene. Start by giving some context or background. 3. Narrate the event. Share what happened in a concise, yet descriptive manner. 4. Share the outcome or conclusion. This is the punchline or result of your anecdote. Here's an example. If someone asks, have you ever had a memorable customer service experience? Instead of saying, yes, I have, you could say, indeed, I remember once when I was at this small bakery downtown. I asked for a croissant and they were out of them. Instead of just apologizing, the baker went out of his way to bake a fresh batch just for me. That kind of dedication left me with an unforgettable impression of their customer service. This anecdote conveys more than a simple, yes, or, no. It gives life to your response, making it more memorable and engaging. Like any skill, the more you practice using anecdotes, the better you'll become. Start by integrating them into your daily conversations, both in English and in your native language. Practice narrating your experiences in a concise, but engaging manner. Remember, it's not about boasting or making up events, but about sharing real experiences and feelings in a colorful and interesting way. So there you have it, the art of using anecdotes to answer questions in English. We hope that this video has been helpful and that you'll start integrating anecdotes into your own conversations. They're a fun and effective way to make your English more vibrant and engaging. Keep practicing and we'll see you in the next video. Happy learning!